guys, so I guess we're just doing a little bit of crochet with me today. Uh, I've not filmed at all this week. It's just been not a great week. Um, I've been working on things a little bit, but uh, not a lot, honestly. I've mostly just been working and sleeping. Um, but I do have a couple of things I can show you real quick. I've got two like scrap projects going. Um, they're both mandala scrap, I guess, is kind of a thing. So first I have this one, which it's going to be very hard to show you the whole thing because this is like really wide. It's wider than my wingspan. Um, that's what I have so far. So I don't remember all of the colorways in here. Um, this, I do like this rosy pink color, is um, part of a Mia bonus bundle. Um, all of this pink is one, I want to say it's Cupid, or um, it might not be. That might be a different line, but um, it's some kind of really pink color, I don't know. I probably still have the um, thing somewhere, I just don't know where. The ball band. Um, but this, and then this uh, black and gray here. These were a shawl that was like an experiment that I took apart because I just, I didn't like how it turned out, but I still wanted to keep the colors together, so that's them. This one. I don't remember the color name of this one either, but it's something like nip or something water-based, I think. But that's that one so far. It's mostly double crochets, and then there's like some crossed double crochets throughout to give it some texture. I'm really happy with how that's turning out. I think it's really cute. I do have a lot of mandala um, cakes, so like almost every color, at least one in almost every color. So I think I can reasonably get two blankets out of them. Uh, this is the other one. I want to say this first color is no. I think that's wrong. I think that's wrong. I think this is no. So I don't know what this one is. But it's pretty. This one is a lemon peel stitch. It's about the same width as the first one. So these are going to be very, very large blankets. Um, but I thought that one, I just like the texture um, of the lemon peel. I think it's cool. And then I also thought because of the way that it's made, because it's a, a double crochet and then a single crochet and then a double and then and an extra row, you do the single on top of the double and the double on top of the single. So it creates like a really interesting texture and also I thought it would be good with the color changes. So that's that so far. I haven't made a lot of progress on that so far. Um, I am taking apart a cardigan that I had made. Um, it was like a, an experiment with granny squares and I just was not happy with the finished result. Um, so I've taken that apart and I'm using that. So this is what I'm working on now for this one. And I put the other squares over there somewhere. It's fine. I can show you later. And then what I'm actively working on at the moment, because I saw this pattern. I can't show you because it's on my phone. Um, <laughs> I saw this pattern in one of my Facebook groups. Um, I think it's... Crochet, or Gothic Knits and Crochet Bits, I think is what it's called. I will probably like the group down below and then I will also link the pattern. Um, this girl designed this girl, this lady, designed this really cute dress that utilizes granny squares as like their the arm but then and the guitar. Um, they also 
like you have a granny square sleeve that also comes down and it's like the chest part and then the body of the dress is just the granny stitch and the stripes um so i think i'm gonna do that i have these colorful squares left over from uh crochet along that never got finished uh so i'm repurposing those for this because i thought that would be really cute and I'm probably going to uh, play around with the design a little bit because hers is fitted, which is really cute and looks really good on her. But because of the way my body is shaped, I don't really like fitted garments so much. So I think what I'm going to do is do more of an empire waist and then have like a big skirt. I have a lot of this yarn. So I should have enough. And if it has to be kind of a short skirt, that's fine. Um, and that's the plan. Hopefully that works out. I think it'll be really cute. I love Halloween colors, so that's what I am working on. I do also have a video going in the background, so I apologize. And also my AC is on and it might be kind of loud, but it's been like 90 degrees here every day for the past couple of weeks, honestly. Not quite. I need, I will see that when I actually work on my new square for my temperature blanket, which I haven't done yet, but it, it's been like 80 to 90, or basically the past month, it's been wobble. And then we have these massive storms, which I'm sure um, other places, I know other places have them too, I'm just not quite sure how large the area was. Um, I know a lot of the Midwest and then I'm in the South now, so my part of the South <laughs> um, got those storms, and so it's incredibly humid now. So on top of it being 90 degrees, it's like a sauna, uh, so it probably feels more like over 100. So I am not turning off my AC. <laughs> Um, it isn't actually cold enough in here that I need to be wearing a sweater. I just feel more comfortable in a sweater. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm probably still not in a place where I'm like really great to be filming, but I, it's already Sunday, so this isn't going out on time, probably. It might. I'll be cutting it close. Um, no, it won't, because it won't upload in time, because the internet here is not amazing. But hopefully I can get it out sometime later today. It won't be when it's supposed to be, because it's already 10.30 on Sunday, and I just... Sorry. I guess I should pull this where you can see it. Um, yeah, it's just been rough. I wish I had better things to say. Um, I did beat the campaign for Diablo 4, and then I kind of, I don't know, I don't find the end game stuff terribly interesting, and between the internet and their having server issues, and If the game were performing well, and I was able to play it without lag and, you know, any problems like that, I would probably still be playing, but it's not performing well. I am struggling with a lot of lag, and sometimes I can't even tell if I'm hitting in theaters or not. Like, it's, it's just... A really big mess. <sighs> so, I'm just giving it a rest until the first season comes out, and then hopefully some of those issues will be resolved. Um, I also have been playing the Dragon Age games again, like, concurrently. <laughs> um, I started Inquisition, and then 
playing Inquisition just made me really want to play Origins again. And and as I was doing both of these things, I realized that I have forgotten so much about the lore because I haven't played any of them since Inquisition came out. Also, I did learn very recently that there is a fourth Dragon Age game coming out next year. So, actually not a bad time to be playing and and reminding myself of everything going on because it is a direct sequel to Inquisition, from what I understand. So, the goal is to kind of get one and two finished up and remind myself of everything that's happening and who all the characters are and everything and then finish up three and then by the time I am done with that hopefully it won't be too long before Dragon Age 4 comes out. That would be cool. I'm sorry, I am not holding this anywhere near where you can see it. <laughs> it's not comfortable to hold it up like this. I usually crochet in my lap. Um, I don't think I've really worked on anything else. Like I've been doing those blankets. Um, I don't know. I feel like I must have finished something, but I can't think of anything else that I was working on. So maybe I didn't finish anything. I just have projects that I was doing and then I decided not to do them. That's much more likely. I just haven't been crocheting that much, honestly. Um, I work 10 hour shifts and it's like all customer service all day long. So when I get home, I am just exhausted. I, I just don't have anything left to give usually. So a lot of the time I just spend honestly going to bed, like I'll eat something and then I'll crash and that's my entire day was work and then going to sleep essentially. It's not really how I want to live my life, but that's just where I'm at right now. I don't, I guess I don't really have that much else to say. Um, I hope you enjoy the projects that I did share with you. Uh, I am excited to keep working on those and show you the blankets when I finish them, though. When they are done, <laughs> showing them off is going to be a chore because they're both going to be massive. But I really like like really big, cozy blankets, so. I'm sorry, I have been watching um, Howard's Legacy game because I tried to play it and it just did not run at all on my computer. And I do have a PlayStation, so it occurred to me that I could get it on the PlayStation, but I decided that from what I had seen, it wasn't worth doing that because I don't play games on my console. I, I use it for like TV mostly. Like watching, you know, Netflix, Amazon, that kind of stuff. Um, I've never been a console gamer. So I've, I've been watching it just because I guess I've been on a, a watching video games on YouTube lately. <laughs> uh, It's not great. I, I don't regret at all um, returning the game. The, like the story is... I find a lot of it very hard to believe. Um, the interactions with people 
this, I don't know. And then, like, the actual beginning of the game, you're a 15 year old in a flying carriage, and you're with your professor and a friend of his who brought him some kind of artifact and was like, you know, concerned about what's going on, trying to figure some stuff out. And then you get attacked by a dragon and your professor's friend dies. And the artifact turns out to be a port key, which is like a, a teleportation device that takes you to these ruins. And there is not one second of grief or shock or anything about the fact that someone just died in front of you. Neither the main character or the professor gives a shit. Their first thought is, oh, let's explore these ruins. I, seriously? That was a human being that just died right in front of you. And it doesn't mean a thing at all. I, I don't. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't want the game to be focused on, on grief or the PTSD or whatever that might come from seeing that happen, but no reaction at all. <laughs> I just... It blows my mind, and it, it... That's just kind of the tone of the whole game. And... I just, I find it very hard to believe. That and then, like, I, I understand all of the kids that are like, oh yeah, we're gonna go and take down these big evil bad guys. Um, I don't know when this game is set, so I don't know if it's before uh, of the Harry Potter books and Voldemort and all that kind of stuff, or if it's sometime after, so if they have that example already. But teenagers do tend to think they're invincible, so I do kind of understand them thinking that it makes sense for them to go ahead and take down these, this, you know, evil goblin and the uh, adult wizards that are helping him and, and believing they're actually capable of doing so. What I don't understand is the not all of the adults in the game are like, oh yes, this kid can help me solve my problems, but some of them are. <laughs> and um, I struggle with that a little bit too. I did appreciate the one merchant that had some stuff stolen, and the kid approaches him and was like, yeah, hey, I can try to help you find a thief. And he's like, oh no, they only come at night, that's after your bedtime. <laughs> yes. Please, that, that is actually a reasonable adult reaction to what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. This game just kind of blows my mind. It's cute. I just, I definitely don't regret returning it. I wouldn't have wanted to play it myself. It's, it's not an experience I would want to put myself through. I'm not really interested in the gameplay itself either from what I'm seeing, so. Storyline is... It's not bad. Um, I, I am curious enough to keep watching and seeing where it's going, but I'm happy to be able to sit here and work on this while that's happening, because I just... I don't care. <laughs> anyway. That is my, my monthly game rant. Oh, um... Our new podcast, uh, my sister and I, our podcast, the, the Found Wanting podcast, where we watch bad media so you don't have to. Um, that the episode is up on Spotify. So I don't know if it's available anywhere else. It should be, but I'm still figuring out this whole podcast platform thing, so I'm not certain that I've got it linked anywhere else yet. I'm going to take some more time to try to figure that out. Um, but it is on Spotify. And our last thing was twins. So if you want to hear us talk about um, twin movie and book that were not worth your time. <laughs> Actually, I didn't really like mine. Um, you, you, can, you can listen to the podcast to see what I covered. But I, I do movies she use books and I generally liked the movie that I covered. Um, and that was fun. And then our next one is going to be 90s. And I think I know what I'm doing for that, but I'm not that certain yet. I have some time to figure it out. 
but yeah, if, if that's something you're interested in, um, bad, <laughs> bad, bad books and movies, um, B movies mostly is kind of what we do. So, and then whatever the book version of that is. Free Kindle books, I guess, is essentially <laughs> what she's doing. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's up. Um, hopefully the next one will be up uh, towards the middle of the month instead of actually on the first day of July, um, when it was supposed to be last month's podcast. Go me, I'm a little behind on things. Um, go ahead and get that a listen. Uh, my sister and I are twins. We, um, it, it's fun. We know each other our entire lives, so, you know, there's that chemistry there uh, from that. Um, yes, I don't think I have anything more to say. I have been rambling for far longer than I expected to. Yeah, yeah. That's it. We're good. Okay. Thank you for coming. Um, I hope that next time I see you guys, I will have this done so I can show off my beautiful blown out <laughs> um, Halloween dress. Uh, I think it'll be really, really good. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you again for coming and for putting up with me rambling about video games instead of talking about crochet stuff. <laughs> it's great seeing you guys. I love you. Bye.